and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion, beauty, and health and wellness videos. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. But I'm going on a walk with a friend and in Lincoln Park. And honestly, you guys, it's been such a gloomy day, but I finally opened the windows and got a little fall candle going um, because I just think that it's gonna change the vibes in here. But I, just because I feel like it's getting a little bit gloomy, but I'm making a squash medley. These are all from the farmer's market. And I just put olive oil, salt, pepper, and then smoked paprika on it. And it looks so good. I'm, I just got it ready now and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven when I get home. But I wanted to quickly show you guys my little outfit. I can. I'm just wearing these jeans from Mother, this little sweater that's from a piece of part, and then the Aritzia Gata jacket. And I'm just gonna pop on a pair of sneakers and we're just going for a walk in Lincoln Park. So it'll be really good. Um, I just wanted to get like the squash ready so that I can make like a salad when I get home. And yeah. Good morning vlog. I am just quickly getting ready for my day. Mostly my morning. I am going to just finish up my morning routine and then I'm meeting a friend for a blue bottle and a walk. Um, so that'll be really fun. And I'm meeting one of my friends, Claire, tonight. Um, and we're going shopping because she has an event and I have an event. So that'll be fun. And yeah, I'm not doing like a ton in terms of makeup or anything right now because I'm literally going for a walk and I'll come home and shower. But I always like to smell good. And I always like to have lip balm, my eyelashes curled, and a little bit of brow. Like that's literally my like go-to's when I'm honestly doing anything. Like I don't, especially in the morning, I'll just wear a hat and I won't wear sunscreen. Um, so I think it's good for your skin. Give it a little break, but Especially the brows. This is the Ilia brow gel. I just love it. I don't know if this looks gross to you guys, but it's literally my favorite thing ever. Coffee, milk, and cinnamon, and half and half. It's the best. This is, oh my God, I can't even talk. This is something. <clears throat> that I wanted to talk to you guys about because I feel like in this day and age everyone I'm trying to figure out how to put my camera everyone and their mother has like oh I'm gluten intolerant oh I'm dairy intolerant oh I have to have oat milk with my coffee and like I've been one of those people for a long time but honestly I think just like in the past I've just got like in the past, like, I want to say month, month and a half, I've just started to realize that, like, why would I put, for example, Oatly in my body that has so many fillers and so much sugar and so much fake stuff in it rather than just putting, like, milk is great because it's dairy-free and it has, like, amazing ingredients, but, like, a dairy or a half and half that literally has grade A organic milk and grade A organic heavy cream. Like why would I, I just feel like it's so much more important to me now to have less ingredients and like actually know what I'm eating um, rather than like, I don't know. And like for example, like nutritional yeast, I put that on my food. Uh, like I would put it on salads and I would put it on like sauteed greens and stuff for a while. And then after going home, my mom doesn't have that kind of stuff. Like she's very into just like, she'll have like goat's cheese and stuff like that. 
And so I actually started like grating like a little bit of goat cheese on my salads when I was there. And I like realized, I was like, I don't even know what the F nutritional yeast is. Why am I okay eating it? And so I've just like slowly like moved towards just like rather than like restricting myself by saying like I'm dairy free, I'm gluten free, all of that stuff. Like I'm just, I'm just eating whole real foods, you know? And like, especially because like dairy does like in small amounts, dairy does not upset my stomach. I can't eat dairy in large amounts. I know that about myself. I've always known that about myself. Um, and yeah. And like gluten for me, I mean, I grew up eating like 10 slices of bread and a bowl of pasta a day. And I was so inflamed in my face growing up and I genuinely think it was gluten, but I still can eat like a bowl of pasta a day if I want. And like I can eat bread and like I'll be, I'll be fine. I don't have any sort of a gluten intolerance, but I literally like, I, Blake has told me this before. He was like, you have selective food intolerances. You decide when you want to be intolerant to them. Like if you just don't want something, you're going to be like, oh, I'm intolerant to it. But if you do want it, then you're going to be like, oh, what are you talking about? Like if we get pasta or something. And so I just want to work to be more like just less restrictive with myself in terms of that kind of stuff. Because like, and I honestly like, I challenge you guys too. I mean, food is such a personal thing. So like do what works for you. But at the end of the day, like if you eat whole real foods and move your body and sleep and don't stress, like you're doing it. You're doing the thing, you know? So, yeah. Okay. It's, like, chilly in my apartment, you guys. Like, so cold. I had the window open when I was doing my morning routine. And I honestly probably shouldn't have because it's, like, 60 outside or less. Maybe in the 50s. And now it's freezing in here. And I'm, like, I don't even want to do my workout because I don't want to move because I'm so cold. <laughs> Hello, hello, you guys. I just finished my workout. It was great. Honestly, it felt so good. I, like, took some time after I stopped walking to just, like, relax. And then I was like, no, you know what? I think I'm feeling workout. So I did it, and it was great. Now I'm going to meet my friend Abby for our walk. It's blustery outside. I used that word the other day, or yesterday, and Blake was like, what does that mean? I was like, oh, my God. But I'm gonna show you guys quickly what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing my little Cubs hat because always protect your face from the sun. Um, and then just a cashmere little Vince sweater just to keep me warm. And then this is Veronica Beard. Lululemon and still leggings are the best. And just some black tennies. And we're off. I'm going grocery shopping after, so I'll continue the vlog on my phone so you guys can see what I get. grocery shopping, a little midweek grocery replan, and I wanted to show you what I picked up. So I'm going to make a bouquet out of these guys, a little fall flat floral arrangement. Blake got me some flowers um, on Sunday, but they haven't really kept up too well. So I decided to pick up some more. I'm going to make broccoli tonight. So I got some broccoli at Whole Foods. Um, and then... I got hearts of palm, which are like my favorite thing ever. If you know me, you know I love those. I got Blake some zucchini from Trader Joe's. He loves zucchini for his salads. Um, I got my favorite Windy City Crunch by Gotham Greens. It's so good. I make salads with it. I got a head of cauliflower 
just for us to have. I get organic cauliflower from Trader Joe's usually. Um, that's from the flowers. I got more fennel for juicing. I always juice fennel. I got more limes for juicing as well and lemons for lemon water in the morning. We were out or we're almost out of our cinnamon so I picked up this cinnamon from Traders. I buy cinnamon organic because cinnamon can be really heavily sprayed if it's not organic. Just a little FYI. Then I got celery for juicing. I buy the organic celery from Whole Foods and I split it in half and do half one day, half the next. Mixed greens for Blake and spinach for me. And chicken for Blake. And that's it. I'm gonna put these guys away and get the flowers nice and unloaded. Happy Friday, you guys. Um, long time no vlog. I hung out with my friend Claire last night. We went a little shop shop and I got this little jacket. I think it's really cute. Very like free people vibes. I got it from Nordstrom. Um, and yeah, um, I just need my coffee. Guys, going down to only drinking one coffee a day, like 12 ounces of caffeine, has changed the game. I'm sleeping better, I'm less anxious, like, it's just a move for me. So, yeah, I'm gonna do my Tasha, but I'm just listening to tunes, I have the windows open, it's crispy out, and it's just a good morning. I'm doing my sheets, everything is good. Hi guys, so for this portion of the vlog, I wanted to talk to you about my gold jewelry collection. Not even my gold jewelry collection, just like my favorite classic gold jewelry pieces. Um, investment pieces, pieces that I wear every single day, um, like gold hoops, my gold necklace, things like that, um, because I haven't really done that in a while. So honestly, without further ado, I'm just gonna show you guys what I wear like every day. Okay, so for the most part, these are the pieces that I wear like every single day that I love. Um, and then I also have some stuff that's on my wrist that I will show you guys, but I didn't want to take off my bracelets because uh, one of them is hard to get back on. And yeah, I just figured it'd be easier that way. Um, so the first thing is this necklace. If you watch my vlogs, I literally always wear this necklace. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> it is by, who's calling me? It is by Ross Simons and it's a little diamond station necklace. I absolutely love it. Um, it's just in general a great piece. I'll link it down below. Uh, it's not like insanely pricey. I think it was like 350, but I mean, I wear it like every day. So I freaking love it. Um, these gold hoops, these are my favorite gold hoops. They're by Machete. They're like the best. They don't tarnish and they're so cute. They're the perfect size. I'll link all of this stuff down below. And these are only like 70 bucks. And honestly, for like good lightweight gold hoops, I think that's really good. And then these I like to wear in my second ear. They're little just Cartier gold hoopies. Um, I wonder if it'll focus or maybe not. You can probably get it to focus. This is Blake's camera, so it usually focuses better, but you guys get the gist of it. I'll link them down below. They are just, they're the love earrings. Um, so they like have the same little print that my other jewelry from them has. So I love those. Um, this is the Majuri croissant dome ring. Blake got this for me, like I think like the first birthday that I was with him. And I just always wear it on this middle finger. It's so simple. I like to keep my rings really simple. Um, I just, I don't like wearing like a ton of rings, so I usually just wear like three or so. That's like a newer thing for me. Um, and then this is a little M ring, also from Ross Simons, where the necklace is from, and I usually just wear this like on this finger. <clears throat> and then this is just a little Cartier um, love ring. So I wear that on this finger. And then in terms of bracelets, I just have a Cartier love bracelet um that i always wear for the most part honestly like i don't really take it off 
as of the lately on my wrist and then this that's with it you can see is a little diamond station bracelet that my girlfriends got me there are three diamonds on it and they got it for me for graduation and it says it's like engraved with dbtr on the back because we go down by the river for our walks like we used to do that like every day and then on the other wrist i usually have my apple watch on but i'm not wearing it right now um and then i just have this little cutie bracelet that is from my grandma um and yeah so those are like my go-to everyday pieces right now <clears throat> i'm like losing my voice right now though i have these little earrings in um and these are made well earrings i honestly just haven't taken them out yet because they're hard to get out um but i have them in my second hoop and i've actually really liked having them in so i'll probably pop I think I'm going to pop these little tiny hoops in with them. Um, and then right now I'm also just wearing a little chain that's actually from my grandma as well. So I get a lot of jewelry from her too. So yeah, that's my gold jewelry. I hope you guys enjoyed that little like section of this vlog. But honestly, I'm just going to talk to you guys while I put this back on. Um, but uh, yeah. I, Blake and I are gonna just like spend the evening together tonight. He um, worked in the city today, which is nice. Um, so that means he won't be home as late. He's been working a lot this week, which is totally good. Like I'm totally fine with that, but I really haven't seen him much. So I'm excited to, like, I mean, we'll have dinner together, but like sometimes like if he gets home at like 8.30 or nine or so, like, it's hard to, like, like, I'll try and wait to have dinner, but I don't know. So, hopefully he'll, like, be done around 5 today. Even if he has to work this weekend then, like, I feel like I'd rather he just gets done today so that we can, like, hang out and then he can just work this weekend, too. But he can, he'll do whatever works best, so... Yeah, I don't know why my earring hurts. Okay, I'm gonna go off and put this stuff on. Hi vlog. We got a new plant, a fiddle leaf. I've been wanting one. And we got a ton of stuff, Blake's eating a honey crisp. I'm vlogging on my phone. I didn't bring the can, but yeah, we're at the farmers. We got a ton of stuff. I'll show you guys a little haul when we get back. Hey guys, well, farmers market haul coming at you hot. I got some mini peppers, which I didn't show you guys because I already put them away. I got some growing homes, organic greens. I got some black garlic. My mom says this stuff is amazing. Like she literally says that it's like next level, so good for you and so tasty. So I'm gonna make sauteed greens and black garlic tonight. We got two things of tomatoes to roast. Should I just leave those out, Blake? Tomatoes, yes. I, we got a thing of a half a pound of shiitake mushrooms and then a pound of baby bella for we're making like a squash and mushroom dish tonight. And then we got a honey nut squash, which are my favorite. And then we got lots of honey crisp apples. Blake got some kale, and to keep our kale fresh, I always just fill a wet jar with water, and then just pop the kale in, like some flowers. I'll just put it right here. Then I got a bunch of tomatoes 
put in my salads because I love little baby tomatoes. I think they're so yummy. Like I'm putting your tomatoes in with mine, just your little cherry ones. Just so you know. Okay. Are mine at the bottom? No, yours are at the top. Then we got even more apples. So, Honeycrisp season, am I right? Or am I right? That's it.